Hi guys, my name is Anthony Park and welcome back to the channel. I'm a real estate agent in the city and today, for the first time on this channel, we're over in Brooklyn. Uh, currently sitting on a tree line block in Borum Hill. I'm about to show you a piece of art. This $6.5 million townhome has six bedrooms, four and a half baths, and just under 5,000 square feet of space. You first step into the townhouse and the two words that come to mind are dramatic and warm. Why? You have 12 feet ceilings and then a width of 21 feet. But at the same time, you have almost floor to ceiling windows that bring in such amazing exposure from the north. Perfect nook for reading. Then talking about warmth, we have one of four working fireplaces along with one of seven marble mantles. And you also have the Nelson Saucer original. Of all the townhomes that I've been to both Manhattan and Brooklyn, this is one of the few that I really felt like I could actually live in. As you transition from the living to the kitchen and dining, you have this beautiful archway. I love it because it allows the northern and southern exposures to connect so you can have that open concept space. But on top of that, it's functional because you have storage on both ends. And if you wanted the separation, you have pocket doors. Now we're moving into my favorite part of the tour, which is the kitchen. You start off with the Carrera marble and the Eden breakfast counter. You have a whole suite of stainless steel appliances, starting from the Sub-Zero fridge to the Viking stove and then your Miele dishwasher. You have sandstone counter here. Oh, and this custom-made cabinetry has something called melamine. And the reason why it's cut out is because it's so heavy and so durable. Now, this is a chef's kitchen and it has my approval. Why? Because it has a pot filler and you know you're talking serious business. Just on the other side, running parallel to the kitchen is your separate dining area. Um, make sure you check out the original molding that runs across the ceiling. You have the second fireplace along with the mantle. But the really special part about this space is that it is connected and you can go right onto your porch. This is what I was talking about. You have an accordion glass wall that you can fully open, which then creates this seamless flow from dining right onto your porch. While you're barbecuing or suntanning up here, you're looking out onto almost a thousand square feet of your own private pristine grass. I mean, check out how much space this is. Before you guys say something about not having a bathroom on this floor, there's actually our first half bath over in that corner. To show you that there is more storage and an entire unit downstairs that's currently being rented out. Coming up to your second floor is a massive family room. It's really made to be customized. You already have a lot of built-in storage, um, including this wall of mirrors. They did this so that you could reflect the light and bring in more of that exposure. You have, or you can immediately recognize the yellow theme in this room. This wallpaper is flavored paper. And then you also have three large sets of windows that have their original shutters. And then along this wall, you have more storage as well for them. Books. We're gonna go check out the rest of the floor. This is where you have your laundry area with soapstone. And then you have the first of the guest bedrooms that's currently outfitted as a library. You have your first bathroom here, which I entered through this way. What's really cool about the bathrooms is that they're all a little slightly different. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but look above and there is actually a skywalk, you know, following that theme in the house, trying to get as much exposure as possible. I'll show you what it looks like when we get on top. The third floor is where we have the remaining guest bedrooms. We have a full on marble bathroom with dual vanity. And then the first uh, one of the two king bedrooms, you'll see that each of the larger bedrooms has a separate alcove for an office space. But check out what they have for a closet. It is a walk-in closet that connects directly to the other bedroom. The other king bedroom, I might add, which has the mantle, faces the north, and that alcove I mentioned. And sharing the north side is the smaller of the three bedrooms. But don't fret because this one also has a walk-in closet and there's a shared one in the hallway as well. The owners were going for a marriage between 19th century design and New York City architecture. And we can see that most prominently here with the original staircase and the landing mixed with the curved walls and the skylight. Now you might be wondering, why is the primary bedroom on the top floor? Well, you're about to see how crazy it is.
This whole floor is decked out in walnut. This pocket door is a full slab of walnut. And don't worry, it's not gonna get hot at all because you have a nest system that keeps it super cool. In this room alone, you have five skylights that all have automatic shades. And although you can enter the bathroom through the entryway on the landing, we have our own ensuite entrance over here. When it comes to spa-like bathrooms, nothing beats this. This clawfoot tub was so big that they had to close the street, bring a crane, and then drop it through this skylight, which by the way, is phenomenal. Right next to it, you have a walk-in shower with Ipe wood, gives that sauna vibe. And then you have a dual vanity with sandstone, and then a separate water closet with your toilet and bidet. And of course, you can't leave out your walk-in closet. I call this a three-prong closet because you have a hallway to the left and right, and then one directly behind me. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.